Bath House Hotel, a history. While the available historical record can't confirm when the Bath House Hotel was initially built, there is no question that John and Grace Huggins first envisioned the building and setting as a hotel for the use and enjoyment of those coming to take the waters of the Bath Spring for health and wellness. By the end of 1825, Grace was advertising in a newspaper out of Bastyr that the house is a large, cool stone building situated on an eminence at a short distance from the town and is constructed of a magnitude suffi sufficiently extensive to accommodate without intermingling a large number of families. In its economy and arrangements, the property has with great care and attention blended the accommodations requisite for patients with all the personal conveniences and necessaries of life. January 14, 1825, in the St. Christopher Gazette and Caribbean Courier. Grace Huggins continued to run the Bath House Hotel until her death in 1834, when one of her nieces took over and continued to advertise the relaxing and restorative virtues of a visit to the Bath House Hotel. It is unclear how long the Huggins family continued operating the Bath House Hotel, but it continued attracting visitors through the 1850s. By 1861, William Codd had purchased and renovated the property, likely adding the bathhouse at that time. He sought a clientele interested in recreation and tourism, promising that those who may favor him with their patronage <coughs> shall find the bath hotel a comfortable residence. The ladies shall be well supplied, the wines and liquor shall be of the best quality and the charges moderate. August 20th, 1861, St. Christopher Advertiser and Weekly Intelligencer. By 1870, Mr. Codd had filed for bankruptcy and the Bath House Hotel spent much of the next 40 years run down, though property managers still resided on its site and were able to offer meals, access to the Bath House, and occasionally rented out a flat on the second floor. There was much talk over that time of restoring the Bath House Hotel to its earlier status and making it a major tourist destination. In 1910, the Gillespie Brothers Limited did just that, undertaking major renovations to the building and gardens and relaunching the Bath House Hotel as a high-end tourist resort that year. In their own advertising pamphlet, the Gillespie Brothers state that the Bath House Hotel is one of the coolest places in the West Indies. The eastern design of flat stone flagged roofs and broad verandas provides excellent promenade or lounging places. And from these, one of the most beautiful views in the world may be seen seaward towards St. Kitts. The rooms are lofty and spacious, light and airy. The building has later been fitted with hot and cold baths and a thoroughly sound drainage system. A cooling lounge with open veranda is provided immediately above the bath where coffee and cigars or cigarettes can be obtained if desired. The added promise of a golf course to be built in the following years imagined a Four Seasons like major tourist resort by the better part of the century. The Bathhouse Hotel continued into the 1930s but by 1940 had closed. By 1947, it had again been purchased with a promise of new tourism development and did continue to offer one or two flats for rent, as well as meals into the 1970s, along with continued use of the bathhouse. Bathhouse Hotel Archaeology Archaeological research has been carried out since 2017 on the grounds of the bathhouse hotel and has added to our understanding of this property. Findings reflect the heyday of hotel operations between the 1820s and 1860s. That work has shown how extensive and elaborate the design and construction of the Bath House Hotel gardens were. Garden walls and terraces, the front and side of the building, as well as a laneway that leads up to a carriage, turn around at the front of the hotel. The gardens below the laneway also included stone-walled terraces, paths and a possible race or spillway that would have directed the flow of the spring down the side of the hill. 
forming open air pools or baths in the gardens. The front gardens appear to have occurred by the 1830s, so likely under the direction of Grace Huggins. Artifacts recovered from excavations overwhelmingly reflect the material dining fashions enjoyed by patrons, residents, the property managers, and their families who all resided on site. In particular, fine china and glassware found in the excavations speak to the latest trends in housewares from Britain, alongside a rich collection of Nivision-made cooking and water vessels. It would have been the, the proprietors including two generations of Huggins women responsible for maintaining and replenishing those ceramics and other material fineries for use on site. Their choice of relatively more expensive ceramic fashion options available through the 1860s also reflects the expectation that conspicuous material display, including all the fineries of formal dining, was an essential part of what was to be offered at the Bath Ho House Hotel for its patrons during that time. The archaeological work to date has not found much evidence of the later 1900s revival of the Bath House Hotel, reflecting changes in waste disposal by that time. Archaeological work in 2023 did document an earlier use of the property dating back to at least the mid-1700s, showing us that there is still more to the history and story of this property to be uncovered in the future.